Hey YouTube. Um, this is a quick um, ASMR Ipsy bag uh, unboxing, unbagging, unpacking basically. Um, this is my August 2014 bag. I just got it in the mail today and I thought I would open it on camera for you guys to see. Now, um, just a, a quick word first. If you are here just for an Ipsy unboxing and you're wondering why I'm speaking so softly, it's because this is an ASMR video and ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and basically it's just a strange kind of tingly sensation that some people get like in their head along their scalp uh, when they hear certain kinds of sounds and that sort of thing so this is not just a normal unboxing but if you want to watch it as an unboxing or an unpacking that's more than cool. So, anyway, um, for those of you who haven't heard of Ipsy, it is a monthly subscription service. It's mostly cosmetics and beauty items, and mostly cosmetics, but occasionally they have um, hair products and skin products. And I was subscribed for a while last year. And then I stopped, but I kind of missed it a little, so I figured I would go back to it for at least a little while, see if I get some good things. Um, I will put a link to Ipsy in the info box below in case you are interested in checking it out. It will be an affiliate link, just in case you don't like affiliate links, because Ipsy does have a points program. But, you know, if you do want to check it out and maybe sign up and use my link, that is awesome. So, anyway, Ipsy bags always come packaged in these awesome uh, kind of hot pink magenta sort of uh, envelopes. And I already kind of know what I'm getting because they tell you on the website, but they don't tell you like, specific colors or um, that sort of thing. So there's still some mystery to it. I always think it's just kind of cheerful and happy just to get um, a bag this shiny and pretty in the mail. And instead of getting a bunch of bills or something, you open up your mailbox and get this all shiny and gritty and girly. So anyway, let's get around to opening it. I'm going to try to cut it on camera, but my angle right now is a little odd, so... get in there without actually cutting anything that's inside. I think I did it. Okay. So let's see what we've got. There's the bag. Okay. And some stuff in here. I think that's everything. It's a pretty small little collection this month, but uh, every month I'll send you a little card that kind of explains what the uh, the theme is, and this is beauty schooled because of course it's back to school time. And it says, want to win amazing swag from all of our beauty schooled brands this month? Enter our Glam Bag Challenge and teach us a thing or two about beauty. Write down your fave beauty tip in this notebook and post a pic of it tagging Ipsy 
and beauty tipsters on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter will share all your entries on our Facebook. So that was not at all informative. <laughs> but it looks like the first thing is a sample of Urban Decay's Perversion uh, Mascara. Now this I already have tried because um, a couple of months ago when they were first launching this, they had a promotion where I think you had to tweet something about um, this new mascara and if you did that, you could then sign up to get a sample. So I already did that and I actually I like this mascara a lot from the first sample that I got. So I am quite happy to get a second one. And here it is, it's a cute little sample. Great for traveling or, you know, just for trying out. It's a really nice formula. It's um, a little more prone to smudging than the brands that I typically use. Uh, I think just because it is so, so dark. I'll go back in, there we go. Because it is so very dark and, and kind of dramatic, it does tend to kind of smudge and get a little, not quite raccoon -y, but that sort of thing, you know, in uh, warmer weather. And right now, it is hot as balls outside, so I don't tend to wear heavier mascaras because of that problem. But... Um, it's still nice, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this one and not use it until winter, and then try it when it's uh, drier and cooler out, because I think then it will be less likely to become any kind of mess on my, you know, under my, my eyes or anything. But it's a really nice formula, and it's definitely, it's definitely dramatic. And so that's great. I love Urban Decay, and I love when they, they have really upscale brands. Ipsy. Now, this bag, every month, Ipsy gives you a makeup bag. It's an Ipsy branded bag, and it's a different design each month. And at first, when I used to subscribe, I thought, well, what am I going to do with so many bags if I do this for a few months? But the funny thing is, they always end up uh, coming in useful. I think I've used almost every one of the ones I got last year, so this one's kind of long and skinny, and I'm thinking it's perfect for makeup brushes. So next time I'm on the road for some reason, I will probably put makeup brushes in here. And it's just kind of cheerful in summary. I like that. Uh, the bags are all different designs, and some of them have been awesome, and some of them have just been incredibly ugly. <laughs> but even an ugly bag is really useful. You always end up needing it for something, and so I kind of like that. Now, an Ipsy is $10 a month, and for that you get the bag and typically five products. And some of the products will be samples, like this, and some may be full-size products. Um, and it's different stuff every month, and it's just it's a fun way to try some things out. So... So this should be really good for traveling. Let's go ahead. Open it up and see what we got. Let's see. Now, this is the thing I've been looking forward to the most besides the, the perversion. It's um uh, it's a lip balm, and if you are getting this brand, You're the Balm, you could get either grape flavor or um, green apple, I think. And I was kind of hoping to get green apple, because grape's not my very favorite scent or flavor. But at the same time, lip balm is always, always useful. And even if I don't love it, I will still end up using it up. It's something that, you know just always end up needing. Uh, I'm going to give it, let's see, let's open it up. 
It's got a little bit of glitter in it, but it doesn't look like enough to really show up that much, which is fine with me. But um, I'm going to give it a quick sniff. It's definitely grapey, which is not my favorite, but I will definitely use it. I like that it's not heavily pigmented or anything, so it's just a good... I'll probably keep it at home and like maybe use it before bed, something like that since it's not in a tube, so it's kind of hard to carry around and, you know, use it when you haven't washed your hands and, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. It's nice. It's a full-size product. That's a lot of product in there. And I have not heard of this, this Absolute New York. I've never used it. So I like that. I like getting to use a new brand. I've never tried Dr. Brandt. I have heard of the brand, but I have not tried it, so this is cool. Plus, this uh, tube just has a really nice kind of texture to it. I hope you can hear that. I know this camera picks up a lot of white noise. It's kind of nice, though. And it's all nice and sealed. That's good. I will leave it sealed until I want to actually try it. But that is awesome. And what's the next thing? This thing oh, Coastal Scents. It's a, I think it's a blush duo. And it says it's forever blush. Users get 25% off if you order from Coastal Scents this month. So this is a forever blush sample. And as you can see, let's see, it looks like kind of almost a um, tan, like a, a more of a bronzer color than a blush. And then this is just a really pretty kind of basic pink blush. It has some sparkle in it, so I'll have to try it out. I'm not a huge blush person. I kind of have one blush that I like. Actually, I got it from Ipsy last year. And one really... Uh, light colored bronzer that's really more of a blush. And those are the only ones I end up reaching for, but um, again, it's just fun to try different things. And actually, this is looking like it might be a really nice winter color for me, and as long as the sparkles aren't too crazy. Actually, I'll go ahead and swatch them because I'm really curious about that sparkle. Oh, it's very nicely pigmented. I think you can see it. Probably the lighting right now isn't great. But it's really nicely pigmented and it doesn't look like too much of the sparkle transferred, so that's nice. It's really surprisingly creamy. I did not expect that. I expected it to be chalkier. Okay, and the other color goes on. It's definitely more of a peachy sort of tan color. And that definitely would be more of a bronzer. So I'm thinking if I like these colors again, this would be fabulous to have um, for travel. Because it's one little thing with 
both a blush and a color that might work as bronzer on me. So it might be really great for travel and then that keeps me from having to carry around both of those full-size products. Okay, and there's one more item. And it is a teeny tiny little eyeliner. It's extremely cute. It is from Lord and Berry. And it is black silk mini coal liner. And that's cool. I mean, I have so many black eyeliners, mostly from AFC, and I usually use Urban Decay's eyeliner, or if I want to use a coal eyeliner, I use an old one I have from the body shop, which that one is kind of tough to apply because it's not that soft. The actual liner coal is pretty hard, but it blends really well, so I like that one. But again, something like this is great for travel, and it's fun to try a different brand. So I'm going to just try it really quick and see. Oh, it's a lot softer than the Body Shop one. Very nice and dark, too. Yeah, I will probably give that a try. Plus, is that not the cutest, tiniest little thing? I almost feel like I need to get the pencil extender from my uh, art supplies out to use it because it's so tiny. I like that. I like little things. So, anyway, I am running out of space on my camera, and that is everything. So you got to see me scribble on my hand a little. And unpack my mail. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out because I already got one of these cards with my last sample, so I don't need to keep this. So I'll just put that in there too, and it's all set for whenever I want to try some of it out. too bad. It's just fun to get in the mail, I think, once a month. And some fun little things to try, and plus it's fun making the video. Uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more unboxings like this, maybe more Ipsy ones in the future, or maybe other subscription boxes, or just any kind of unboxes, uh, do let me know. If this was fun, and if people enjoyed it, I'll certainly do more. Okay. Oh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. <laughs>